Here is a iPad mini sixth generation. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step. First thing is go ahead and turn it on. After you turn it on from here, go ahead and just swipe up. Go ahead and choose your language. For me, I'm going to choose English. Select your country or region. I'm in the United States, so I'm going to go with the U.S. here. Now you can do a quick start here if you bring your current iPhone or iPad uh, near this iPad. Then you can sign up and basically speed up the setup process. Or you can just go ahead and set up manually and start from the very beginning. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up manually here. Go ahead and choose my home Wi-Fi network here. Put in my password. After you put in your password, click on join there or down here. It doesn't matter. All right, I see the check mark here. It looks like it's connected. Now go ahead and tap on next up here. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad, so be patient here. Data and privacy, you can go ahead and read through this. If you want to read more, you can tap on learn more. After you read through it, go ahead and tap on continue. Touch ID, basically a fingerprint password on your power button there. You can set this up later if you wish, or you can do it now. For me, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So I'll tap on continue there. And then start by placing your finger on the top button, which is the power button over here. So just go ahead and put your finger on there, the finger that you want to use. Okay, cover top to bottom completely. Try to cover the entire top with your finger, okay? So try to cover the entire top. You can see that whole entire button. Let's go up, down, up, down. Just wait until the, all the red space is filled. Just keep going. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Now it says keep going to capture the edges of your print, okay? So click on continue and now try to get the edges now. Do the edges, up, down, all over on the edges, the top finger, just keep on going. Okay, it's added. This finger can now be used with Touch ID. Go ahead and tap on continue. And from here, you can go ahead and add another fingerprint if you wish, or if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and tap on set up later in settings. So for me, I'm, I'm good with one fingerprint. I'm gonna go ahead and set up later in settings, tap on that so we can proceed. Now you have to create a passcode here, so go ahead and create one. After you create it the first time, it's going to ask you to confirm. Now I need to re-enter my passcode. All right. Now just wait here. All right. Apps and data. Choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPad. So if you had a previous, um, if you had like a previous iPad or iPhone, you can restore from a iCloud backup if you have it, or you can restore from a Mac or a Windows computer, or you can transfer directly from iPad to iPad, or you can move data from an Android, basically from an Android phone or an Android tablet, or you, just, you can go down here, don't transfer apps and data. I'm gonna go with the bottom one here. I just want a clean, fresh slate here. Now it's asking for your Apple ID, basically your Apple ID, uh, the email address that you use. Go ahead and put that in there if you forgot your password tap down here or if you don't have one and you want to create one you can tap down here as well also if you want to go ahead and skip this part and do it later which i want to do you can also tap down here and then we can select here set up later in settings and then i will tap on don't use there so we can go ahead and proceed terms and conditions you will have to read through this and you will have to agree to proceed okay go ahead and tap on agree Keep your iPad up to date. Let's tap on continue here. Location services. This is um, a preference up to you. You can enable location services or you can disable location services and you can always change it later. Okay. For me, for now, it's fine. I'll enable location services. And here we can go ahead and set up Siri. So once we set this up, you can go ahead and say, hey, Siri, to activate Siri, then you can ask her your, your question or you can simply just press and hold the power button and wait till it turns on and you can ask her the question, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, it's really simple. Or you can set it up later, okay? So for me, I'm just gonna set it up now. You have to go ahead and pick what voice you want. Hi. 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 I'm Siri. I'm gonna go with number two here, like and I'm gonna go ahead and you tap on next. Now I gotta read through this. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri. How's the weather? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, 
play some music. Okay, so Hey Siri uh, is ready. Go ahead and tap on Continue here. Improve Siri indication. You can go ahead and share audio recordings or you can choose not now. For me, I'm just going to go choose not now. Screen time. Uh, get weekly reports with insights about your screen time and time limits and set time limits for apps you want to manage and so on. So th this is up to you. You can go ahead and continue and set that up or you can set up later in settings, which I'm going to do, but I'm never going to set it up iPad analytics, you can go ahead and share with Apple, or you don't have to share, it's a preference, it doesn't matter. For me, I'll just go and share with Apple. App analytics, you can share with app developers, or you don't have to, it's a preference. For me, I'm okay with sharing with app developers. Appearance, do you want the light theme here, or do you want the dark theme? Okay, most of you guys will probably go with dark theme, same as myself. I'll go ahead and continue from here. Get started, let's tap on right there, and voila. We are in business. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, just uh, comment below. Good luck, guys.